All right, that was painful, and I didn't get my food. I noticed I sat down, and Bella is nowhere to be seen, but whatever. Let's, uh, let's talk to the gnome. Let's figure out what his problem is. Let's introduce ourselves first. Who? Pleased to meet you. I could tell by your outfit that you are no ordinary rube. Punny bones, the name. Joke's a fair game. I'm a pro punster. You're a pro something. All right. Well, let's find out what his deal is. Um, where are you from? You flew into town, arms tired. Ha! <laughs> Be they ever so humble, there's nobody stays home. I've been on the road so long, I have flat tires on my feet. I go wherever I can tell a good joke, and many places where I can't. Alrighty, tell us about you. I like your style. I'm staying at this inn for a while until I find something here. I got the last door down the hall. Visit me sometime. I'm sure we can have a few laughs together. Uh huh. There is no way I'm accepting this. Yeah, I kind of have to. Show business. Hey, my last tour was a great success. I outran everyone. But there's no business like show business. With me, the show must go on and on and on. All right, that's kind of funny. Uh, and he's high again. Uh, you know with those big large cheeks here, he kind of reminds me of Jallo from King's Quest VI. Jokes! I got millions of them. Problem is, I can't remember most of them, and the ones I do remember should have been buried long ago. I used to be worth my wit in gold, but oh, it's a long story. Ask me about it some other time. Which is why we have to go to his room later. And that's pretty much all we got from him for now, so let's see if, uh, you know, he seems kind of like a jokester, trickster god. Let's see if he knows the thief sign. You adopt the traditional thief sign position, wiggling the fingers of your right hand and rubbing your belly with your left hand. No one seems particularly impressed. No, all right, fine. Doesn't even have anything witty to say about it, which kind of speaks to why he's here in the first place. Let's see what he thought about it. He too is a stranger to Mordav. You don't like any strangers. Hey, what am I, shredded wheat? If you're talking behind my back, at least have the courtesy to do it face to face. I wonder where Brooklyn is in this, uh, in this world. Let's see if he has anything else to say. Maybe he can finally get some information about Tanya from him, because he seems hesitant to talk about it. I have not listened to such nonsense in all my life. You call this a life? Zing! Kinda got you there, buddy. I try to keep people entertained here. So how come you weren't up on the stage instead of me? Okay, that's not getting anywhere. Let's see if these guys have anything else to say. Then I think maybe we can take a quick rest and... We still gotta... We still have a lot to do. We gotta talk to the Domovoy again. We gotta help the Gnome. We gotta help the Rizalka. And then we gotta get the, the end game of this plot moving along. Though I think we're almost there. Uh, peasants? <laughs> That's really mean to say, Sneaky Feet. Somebody just shoot me. And just when I was gonna invite you to my party, there's always room for one boar. Saying, oh, I'll tell you, he's rough, you know? Anyone could tell better jokes than that gnome did. Where's Shaky Green when you need him? Shaky Green? That's a reference. With you, but I never engage in a battle of wits with an unarmed man. I've used that one before. The guy's dying up there. I didn't get anything. Hey, how could you? If ignorance is really bliss, you're the world's happiest guy. See, he is witty, and some of these things are actually legitimately funny, but I don't know. It's the plot. Well, you know, I'm not a census taker over here, but there are no other gnomes in Mordavia. No wonder. Okay, that's bad. Yeah, when they show up, there goes the neighborhood. We have no need for gnomes here. Okay, a little bit racist. You guys are so narrow-minded, you could all look through a keyhole with both eyes. What gnome would want to work here? You guys have all the sense of humor of a wyvern with a hangover. All right. I like the narrow-minded joke. I may have to integrate that into my repertoire. Hey, you got a point. There are enough fools in here already to reach critical mass. If it pays to be ignorant, why are you guys so broke? Critical mass always sounded like some sort of a Catholic joke to me. Oh well. I, I don't even care about their performance, but yeah, we gotta. Fellas, is it just me or is, uh, Shecky? That's the second Shecky Green reference in five minutes. Humor. 
Are you kidding? He was rough. Get a day job! You're right. And he wasn't very funny, either. What do you mean I wasn't funny? You guys wouldn't know a punchline if it hit you in the face! And they got nothing else to say about that. Alright. Well, let's see if we can take our seat once again. Hopefully we won't be treated to another show, but we'll get some food... No, no food. Okay, well... Let's go upstairs and take a break. And maybe when we come back downstairs, the gnome will not be here, and we can join him in his room. And learn a little bit more about the dude. And I swear to God, I had full stamina when I came down, and now I'm at half stam. So those jokes must have really taken it out of me. Let's take a quick nappy nap. And kabonk. After some rain. Shaking off the nightmares of those jokes, you cling to reality. Alright, he's gone. Good, let's go talk to him. Sneakily. Let's see. Listen at door. You hear some moves. All right, so he's home. A voice from behind the door says, Oops, sorry. Seems I forgot about my burglar alarm. Hope it wasn't too shocking for you. What was that voice, John? Really? That was your best... Pro I guess maybe they didn't know who his voice was going to be. Hello, how are you? Come in and have a sit, why don't you? What a friendly guy. As you sit down, a rude noise comes from the chest. Rude noise. <laughs> Get you every time! A million laughs! Very Looney Tunes, this guy. Good to see ya! Nice see ya to drop in! Speaking of dropping in, did you hear the one about the bad waiter? Seems like he was always dropping in. Dropping in! Get it? Uh... Didn't think so. No one got a sense of humor anymore. <laughs> Not even me. Okay, maybe now we can actually legit have a seat, but I just love his room. He's, he's like set it up. He, he brings this rug with him and fancy bedspreads and extra jester's hat and he painted little smiley faces on all the garlic braids. Somehow just looking at these garlic braids makes you smile. It's a braided circular rug just like the one in yours. Lots of braids. Let's see if I can actually legit have a seat now and talk Walk to him. Walk over to the chair and sit down. A loud and rather embarrassing noise causes you to get back up again. Apparently you forgot whom you were dealing with for a moment there. So is it a whoopee, like a self-reinflating whoopee cushion? You should patent that, bro. Oh. Alright, let's... First of all, be polite. Hey, welcome in! Alright, and let's... First of all, you know, he invited us into his room, so of course let's hijack the conversation and talk all about ourselves. You tell about some of your adventures. All of them. For hours. What was that you were saying about saving Spielberg? Spielberg. You tell about your adventures in Spielberg. So you're the guy that made me lose my sense of humor. What? Listen, if you hadn't made Baba Yaga mad, I never would have told the joke that made her take my humor away. Uh-huh. Oh, bup, 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 bup. Wait a minute. A plot. All right, let's find out about it. Let's ask about his humor. Maybe he'll sing us the song. I ain't got no yeah. sense of humor. I can't get no sense of humor. And I try. Don't know why. Gotta fly. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Your singing voice is wonderful. Sue me. I'm comedically challenged. A feeb of a fool. A dweeb dunce. As a matter of fact, I've been cursed. I'm vexed with a hex, so to speak. Oh, all right. So now, so Baba Yaga, uh, why am I explaining this? Pathetic, ain't it? I can't tell a joke if it kicked me in the teeth. Ever since I got Baba Yaga mad at me, I got the bad joke blues. Hmm, Baba Yaga, she likes pie. Uh... She has no sense of humor whatsoever. Let me tell you, I was just telling a joke about how some hero got Baba Baby hopping mad and fit to be towed. How was I to know she was in the Anyhow, Baba Yaga stands up, says some bad poetry, and the next thing I know is my jokes are jumbled, and my puns are pathetic. Are you sure? I think you're projecting your problems here. Baba Yaga, so as I can get the curse removed and my humor returned. All right. So now we basically have a reason to go visit Baba Yaga, but... Eh, we've already kind of got that rolling. No! Putin Kane, ask me again, I'll tell you my name. Seriously, folks, the name is Bones. Punny Bones. I'm just a jester, professionally speaking, of course. Alrighty, well now we can learn all about the jestering uh, profession. Go ahead. 
Hey, I'm a professional fool, so don't try this at home, kid. Unfortunately, more... All right, yeah, more self-deprecating... More self-deprecating humor. Thanks, pun. Punny, you should... Yeah, it's all the same thing. Yeah! Look at those teeth. The, yeah, the teeth on your little wand are whiter than yours. It looks like Malcolm from Carandia. There's a reference for you. Madavia! This place is really dead, you know. I've had a livelier audience. And You've used that joke already. Now, a man being tripped into a mud puddle. All right, let's ask him about some rumors and be on our way. Rumors! What do I hear? Let me see. Well, the talk of the town is you. No one knows how you got here or what are you doing. And they're still all a bit leery of strangers. You should see some of the looks they give me. You think they never saw a gnome before. Or you, for that matter. I wish I could talk to him about the gnome I met in, uh, not Tarna, uh, Serpier. Yeah, that's the, that's the ticket. His name was, keep on laughing, and Punny Bones. And we'll meet another gnome in the next game, too, and they're just as bad, if not worse. Good night. Goodbye. Nice to see a friendly face around here. Catch you later, dud. All right, always a pleasure. Bye. So I Ugh. ask you, what do you call a dinosaur crashing into a wall? Stegosaurus, Stegosaurus, I... See you later, crocodile! Uh, let's never visit him again. Okay, so it is... What time is it? It's almost midnight, so I think if we go back into our room and chill out for a little while, the Doma Boy should pop back up. And he should be very happy that we've rehydrated his friend or... His alter ego were you are exa exhausted from lack of... I think that's just the warning saying you it's midnight, you're exhausted. But we're a night owl. There he is. Hey, Domo. You see that the Domo boy is here again. Um, yes, you sound very enthused about it, John. Well, let's greet him first, first of all. Hi! Oh, good, good. Very, very good. Very wet. Oh, you did good. Domovoy very happy not to be in very bad place. Domovoy very happy not to be dried up. I still don't get it. Was it him or another Domovoy? I... I... don't understand. Well, that's whatever. Now, he should be able to give us a little bit more information now that he's not all dried out. Domovoy! Oh, happy am I. You help me. You, I help. Oh, God. It says he talks in circles the entire time. Help! Bad place, Domovoy, all better now. Oh! Bad place, Domovoy, now live in Burgomeister's place. Got it. Okay, so they were two separate people. Burgomeister. Or Domovoy's. You help me, then I help you. You want to be big hero? You want to make many people happy? What to make people happy? Cleanse and influence people? I have that book. First, to be plenty good hero, need to be very, very powerful. I have if not died at all this... Yeah, I have. Die. If not very smart, you die. Oh, no more hero. Great advice, Dumbavoy. Thanks. In order to be of help to other people, don't die. Ugh. In! Domovoy tells story. Here we go. Yuri and Bela have daughter Tanya. Bela. Lovely daughter. Laughing daughter. One day, Tanya taken away. All because of Doll. Oh? Doll? Well, let's learn more about Tanya, because you remember Tanya from up in the castle with her big gigantic monster friend who insulted us in subtitles. Tanya, sweet, sweet child. Tanya like everyone. Then Bela have dream. Dream Tanya taken away. Bela very scared. Bela or Bella? Not let Tanya play outside. Not let Tanya have friends. Tanya get scared of dark. Tanya many times alone and back of inn in dark. Why? One day, monster come. Big, big monster. Huge monster. Friendly monster. He visit Tanya's window. He talk to Tanya. Tanya not afraid of dark. Tanya now have monster friend. I don't like where this is going. One night, 
Tanya very, very unhappy. So Monster take Tanya away. Monster want to make Tanya happy. Now Tanya gone. Tanya gone to castle. Where her life is... seems better, but can't quite tell. See Tanya go. No one but Domovoy. Domovoy tried to stop Tanya, but too late, too late. Tanya already outside with Monster. No tell Bela, no tell Yuri. Very bad thing. Tanya meet hero. <laughs> Not dead parents. Only brave, powerful hero save Tanya. Now, he is assuming that Tanya needs rescuing to be taken from her life of opulence to, you know, back to living in poverty, but... Uh, it, it's kind of a moral conundrum, but let's learn about this doll here. That seems to be the, uh, you know, patient zero here. One night, Tanya get beautiful doll. Tanya not have doll before. Tanya love doll very, very much. Let's not talk about the love dolls, please. They are very, very scared. Where doll come from? Yuri very, very scared. Who gave doll to Tanya? Take doll away. Make Tanya very, very sad. Maybe she bought it with her own allowance. Hide doll in cabinet. You take doll. Tanya love doll. Maybe you help Tanya, hmm? No talk Bela. No show Bela doll. Make Bela very scared. Make Bela very unhappy. You take doll. You take doll to Tanya someday. Hmm? Someday you very powerful. Okay, got it, got it. Alright, so first of all, I'm very, very put off by the fact that he called it a Tanya love doll. Which... No, no. Just very, very unnote, very everything no. Um, second of all, let's do exactly what he says. Now we know that we're supposed to help Tanya. Alright, so... Bye! Cake doll. Alright, yeah, I know. So here's the cabinet that we're speaking of. And it said it mentioned that there was a doll in there, but we couldn't do anything with it. Contains some extra plates there it is. Beautiful ornate doll on one of the shelves. Not a great hiding spot, because it's covered in glass. Oh, and we got it. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. You open the cabinet and see a lovely doll. You carefully remove the elegant doll from the cabinet and store it in your pack. Got it. Okay. Now that means we have to go back to the castle at some point, but... You've never uh, seen oh, it. right. I gotta go out through our room. Back. Ugh. But now there's a lot we can do at night. Now, the cool part is now that we have this aura spell from Magda, we can go fight all the wraiths we want because now they... I don't think, anyway, they can hurt us anymore. Which is great. And I wonder also, can we visit this uh, Domovoy that's living in the Burgermeister's office now? That'd be awesome. Let's see if we can break in. Ah, damn it. We can't get in the door. Let's see if maybe the window's unlocked. There we go. Hey, we got it. I remember we got stuck in that infinite loop for like an hour and a half last time. Well, the longer we're in here, I wonder if that's his bedroom in there. This yeah, okay. So let's not go in there. The only thing that... I don't see the Domovoy, but hey, let's go rifling through his stuff. God damn it, you know what to do. Just make it automatic. This is a... T this... Oh, boy. I cannot believe... After four games of, of lockpick practicing, we should be fucking masters by now. What is about this desk? Uh, Alright, we gotta get out of here, otherwise we're gonna get busted. Can we take any of this... You don't dare no, take can't take the shield. The can't take these... Alright, whatever. Let's get out of here. Well, at least, hey, we could have broken the gypsy out that way, I'm sure. Alright, let's rest some more. Ah, oh, oh! <laughs> hey, Mr. Burgermeister. <laughs> How you doing this lovely morning? Tell about old man? He already knows about him. You tell about... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Hi, hello! Good day. I went searching last evening to see if I could find... Yeah, we already had this conversation. You know what happened to him. Well, whatever. Alright, well now we know what we need to do. Let's get things done. Hey y'all, welcome back. No way. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. 
If you guys want to watch a little bit more Quest for Glory stuff, you just click right there on good old Morticia Adams. And if you want to watch some other stuff that I've done, click on Holy Gomez. If you want to support me, please hit that little subscribe button up there. It really helps. There you go. Choose one, baby. I've never lit these. They're works of art. You don't burn art. Sometimes.